up guys welcome back to the channel hope everyone's doing well this morning after night whatever time it is because today we got ourselves an exciting collaboration over here and it is Lenium shivering featuring the one and only spirit box so we're definitely checking this out because it's spirit box right this is so wicked because looking at Lenium, they have 10 million or he has 10 million month or monthly 10 million listeners on spotify god damn it i'm so used to saying monthly not millions because this is doing wonders for the metal scene, man. I'm really excited for this because I do like some EDM. I don't listen to too much Alinium, but who knows? Maybe this song is going to turn me into a fan. Anyway, I think that's all we need for chit chat, right? So let's fuck do it. I like in the tone of this already. Moody. Trendy. Good news all around, man. This sounds like Courtney, too. Was the intro
Wow. I didn't really know what to expect with this at all. Like hearing it, I should have expected this kind of song and uh, still kind of kind of blown away by how much I liked it. Anyway, let's talk about the song. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of blown away by how much I liked it because going into this, I didn't know that Courtney was going to be like such a major integral role to the song. Like I thought it was going to be like a feature. I thought it was going to be very like beat focus and synth focus. Um, but instead it was a very like, you know, vocally focused song with drops and the cool like dark bass undertone. Um, overall, like it's just a really cool EDM track and I didn't expect screams. Honestly, this song didn't even really need screams and it still would have been fine, but having the screams gave it a little bit more edge and a little bit more unpredictability, so I did like that. Um, I should have expected with Spirit Box, but I just assumed that, you know, Spirit Box, like Courtney has really good cleans and I just feel like her screams wouldn't have fit on this kind of song, but they managed to make it work. So that's what I mean. I'm kind of like surprised by some things and honestly, this just does wonders for like metal and like hard rock and stuff. And I, that's why I'm so pumped about this. Like you guys see me with like Bring Me The Rise and doing collaborations too. I think this is just wicked to see because obviously it gives me more content too when there's more metal and rock to check out. Um, but it just does like amazing things for the harder edge of music because like, let's face it, music has been getting pretty soft the past decade. So here, hearing this resurgence of like heavy music and Spirit Box being a big, playing a big major role in that, um, you know, getting like the heavies out to the normies who don't really listen to this kind of music. I think it's really cool. And then working with Delinium, it's just wicked. It's just wicked news. So let's break it down through the pros and cons. Number one pro, I just really like the bassy, like dark undertone to the song. You know, obviously they chose blue as the color and it just works really well. Spirit Box kind of works alongside blue, even though they were black and white at the beginning. But like, um, you know, I just feel like the, the tone of the song was like, had like a little bit of bassy, watery kind of feel and it just kind of worked alongside the bluish color to the lyric video. Um, but another pro is honestly, like I was just saying, Courtney's feature was apparent through like start to finish. Um, I, you know, I'm not very fam familiar with Elenium if he does vocals too. So I guess that was Courtney the whole way through. Um, but yeah, her vocals were just, they were great because they were different and they were different for what I've heard from Spirit Box and some I Wrestled the Bear once. You know, they felt like, um, I couldn't tell if Elenium actually wrote the words and Courtney just kind of like sang the words, the, his lyrics, um, because her patterns and stuff felt very EDM and I don't know how to describe it. It's just the quick more patterns and not really belting out notes as much. Um, it just like, it felt like such a EDM style a song, obviously, and just hearing Courtney, Courtney's take at it just felt refreshing. Um, pro number three is just the amount of drops and like the unpredictability to the drops because like it took a while to get to the first drop So I thought that was really cool second drop actually happened a lot faster Which I thought was also cool because the second drop was the metal one the the screams and it's just cool to have Two drops that weren't so structured in the same kind of time duration, you know First minute you get to the first drop and then second minute you get to the second drop No, it took like I don't know like maybe like minute 32 minutes to get to the first one then like two minutes 30 almost three to get to the second one That's what I mean. I thought it was just kind of cool unpredictable um, To get to those drops and yeah another pro is just bring the heavy so you know Like I said, I should have expected it. It's still really cool to hear um, The screams and like like I said, it doesn't even really need it, but I thought it actually just worked really well to have um, the unpredictable like uh, Tone to the song where it you know, it starts off kind of moody and dark and poppy, but it gets into this uh, heavy stuff. And I thought that's just really, really cool, especially from a big name artist like Elenium having, you know, screams in one of his like music. If he has before, then I don't know, but um, it's just really cool to hear. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. I'm not really good at EDM review breakdowns. I like the synth. I like the sounds. Good, good. Uh, let's move on to the cons. And uh, no, I don't have cons. This is just a fun jam. This is great, um, you know, summer jam too. Uh, night drive kind of jam as well. Like it's just nice and refreshing. I don't really have cons because I'm not super into the EDM scene that I can't pick apart like why this is good and why this is bad to someone who's, you know, hasn't followed it for a while. To me, this just sounds really nice and I thought this was really cool. Anyway, shut up, Metal Burb. That's the end of the video. Guys, let me know what your thoughts about this song are. So comment down below, spice up my life. Guys, 
what you think about this song. Also, if you got to this point in the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you today, man. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, comment down below, Quaker Oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> comment down below Quaker Oatmeal and I'll heart your comment. That means you watch the entire video and I really, really appreciate the shit out of you, man. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace.